couple of garden rooms tonight as Super Garden continues at half past eight. While now kept in the shade, this relationship may wither in Shortland Street. I order Miss Jeffries to undergo a period of psychiatric evaluation and supervision. What, what does that mean? You're free to go. <laughs> Well, not quite the ghetto, but you can see it from our roof. Bustic. We're still renovating. Hmm. Are you going to keep the flooring? Cody, it's hard to come by these days. There's a reason for that. It's called flu season. I hope you're insulated. There are plenty of blankets in the spare room. Hmm. What are you cooking? Oh, nothing much. I'll sit another place at the table. Where's my room? Um, right and then second left. I'll be right back. For the menage a toi. I'm so sorry. I don't know whether to like her or strangle her. I know. I've ruined your special dinner, haven't I? I oh, will do it another night. Or we could go to bed early and I could make it up to you. This better be good, Scotty. I'm very particular when it comes to feeding these babies. Let's drink to Maya's freedom. And whoever spiked the judge's water. <laughs> Libby, please. What? She was nearly behind bars and now she's drinking in one. Miracle or happy pills, you tell me. It's justice, pure and simple. I'm just going to go to the toilet. What's up now? Mm, too much champagne. Except she looks more like she's commiserating than celebrating. Who is she? Maya Jeffries, one of our nurses. Ah, she just beat the murderer up. Oh, for the Ethan Pierce case? Correct. She looks like Bambi's mother. <laughs> Bambi's mother had dodged the bullet. <laughs> Bad pun, Karen. Yeah, sorry about that. But I guess it's about time the Jeffrey's caught a break. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Anyway, about that minor injuries clinic. Do we have to talk shop? Well, I'd just like to know how you managed it. I couldn't get past the budget stone wall. Yeah. You all seriously worked with that woman day in, day out? Can we leave? We've just ordered some snacks. I thought you might need to eat. Oh, I couldn't stomach anything. Probably the adrenaline. I just want to pick up JJ and go home. Okay, we can go. Uh, too late. Celebrating your triumph over the justice system, I see. I'm just as shocked as you are, Brock. I doubt it. Do you all realise that you're in the presence of a murderess? Brock! No need to say it. How sad is it when a nurse, someone who is supposed to value human life, can get away with shooting a man and cold blood? The saddest thing about all of this is your loyalty to Ethan Pierce. You want to talk about cold blood? Look no further. The man you are so quick to defend was pure evil. That's the reality. That's why no one here gives a toss. So suck it up or leave. I eat the good sauce with everything. I get it from my father's side. He's a typical male. Am I your typical male? Not when you know how to wrap the old pastry with the feta cheese. <sighs> it must be Shanti's exotic influence. She'll be good for your gene pool. Speaking of genetics, are you the only nurse in your family? Yep. And are you enjoying your new job? Yeah, it's so much better than my last job. Talk about a cool people drought. Everyone at Shortland Street's so sweet. Like you guys. Oh, and by the way, Shanti, you're a way better preceptor than Carol. Really? <laughs> it's your systems. They're so easy to follow. Oh, you can thank Scotty for that. I like order. Well, when you're a baby nurse, order makes you feel safe. You can take the man out of the military, but you can't take the military out of the man. You're ex-army? Yes. My uncle's Colonel Pohe. He trains at Waiudu. You remember him? Yeah, he's a great guy. Are you kidding? He used to drive his knee into my back every time he caught me slouching. Straight up or you're straight out. <laughs> That's uncle. <laughs> Dad's not here. Right, um, when will he be back? I'm not sure he had a dinner to go to. Are you okay? Come in. Uh, no, I don't want to impose. Just, uh, just tell your dad that I, I stopped by. Look at you, you're a mess. Come in, take a load off. 
If it's a work thing, you can call Dad direct on the cell phone. It's Maya. She was let off the murder charge. I thought she confessed. She did. There was a loophole in the system. Insanity at the time of confession. Are you serious? I thought it was a joke too. But now she's out on the streets, walking around with the rest of us. It's disgusting. So what now? Good question. I guess closure is off the cards. I wanted her gone. Locked up. Then I wouldn't have to think about him anymore. Then he'd be gone too. I get that. Everyone thinks she's a hero. She's not. She's a killer. I hate her. I hate her with every cell in my body. You're allowed to. No one will let me. Even Ethan's mother won't let me hate her. Hey, hey, it's all right. You can hate her. I'll let you. <laughs> I like this early to bed stuff. I like having my lovely husband back. Her away. I snore. Like a hound from hell. <laughs> nice dismount. Do you mind? Sorry, I thought you were awake and I need a towel. Because I wet the bed. I'm kidding. I just want a shower. <laughs> um, there are some towels in the linen cupboard by the bathroom. Thanks, as you were. You're a sweetheart. All I did was dunk a tea bag. That's more than anyone else will do for me at the moment. Oh, you're overreacting. No, I'm not. Your name will be Mud when people find out we're friends. Mud Mackay has a nice ring to it. Hunter, I'm serious. I can handle it. Then you're a stronger person than I am. Call me pathetic, but I want people to... Well, they don't have to like me, but a little respect wouldn't go amiss. It's normal, isn't it? Well, I respect you. I'm sure your patients do too. Is that enough? It's a start. I think it would be better for everyone if I just cut my losses and ran. Don't you dare, okay? You leave, they all win. Haven't they already? Brooke, you're a smart, successful, gorgeous doctor. Oh, come on, you know you are. You just fell in love with the wrong person. Who hasn't done that? Did you? Yeah. Didn't turn out quite like this, but, uh, you know, I still hurt a lot of people. Do they hold it against you? No, it was yesterday's news. This will be too. Really? Yeah. You got fish and chip paper written all over you. Just the look I was going for. <laughs> oh, it's getting on. I'm not bothered. I'm glad you're home. What the yum! I smell fresh pastries. <laughs> Have you got your appetite back? Yes, I feel much better. So what's the plan for your first day of freedom? Well, I'm going to take JJ to the park. He'll love that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to drop him at daycare. Mummy just wants you all to herself. Mm. You take as much time as you want. You deserve it. Now you have to dip the croissant in the chocolate. Here. I don't deserve it, you know. What? Chocolate? Yeah, it's no. Whack, whack. <laughs> time with JJ or time with you, any of it. Nonsense. Dad. You really believe that the judge made the right decision, don't you? I got my day. Absolutely. But he didn't. He murdered Ethan Pierce. Yes. Mm. Yes, but you've taken responsibility for your actions and the... But I haven't paid for them. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe this was God's will. The same God who sends bad people to hell? Not the ones who repent, which you have. If you're put away... More people will suffer. I don't think God wants that. He knows how much our family has been through. So do I, but it doesn't justify what I did. Well, can't you just count your blessings and be grateful? If you can't move on for yourself, do it for your son. Where did you put my keys? I always leave them up on the mantel. Sorry. Let's go. I thought I would make our lunches. No, I want to hit the road. Traffic. Wait. Is Araha expecting a lift? <sighs> Aroha. Don't. I'll go and get it. Morning. Why aren't you dressed for work? Man, you could have woken me. 
My expert won't mount the alarm on my cell phone. I told you that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Ladies, please, we could be there by now. <sighs> Just give me 20 minutes. Make it a fast five. Well, might as well make our lunches. That'll make it all worthwhile, won't it? Morning. <laughs> Did the temperature just drop? Perhaps it's your circulation. Let you try a long walk off a short pier. Ouch. Are you leaving soon? Why? Are you expecting the CEO? He must keep your little finger very warm. Pardon? He's so wrapped around it. Oh, here he is now. Hey, and uh, push that couch out of the way if you want. I'm out of here. Morning. Just leaving. Hey, Brooke. No problem about the couch. Go for it. I heard about Maya. Are you OK? Where were you last night? I had a business dinner that went late. Uh, too late to call. I went over to your place and blubbed all over Hunter, poor kid. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you. It's all right. <laughs> so, what was Maxwell going on about uh, this couch? Oh, he was making fun of us. That we could move it if we want to, you know, use the floor space. For alternative recreational purposes. <laughs> He's never going to let us live that down. It's the only reason he won't move out. He's got you exactly where he wants you. You think I'm letting him blackmail me? No, I, I didn't mean that. <sighs> It's just that it's hard enough sneaking around in public, let alone in my own house. I'm working on it, Brooke. It just takes time. I have a faster solution. Yeah? We go public. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. So I should just accept my status as your dirty little secret. Hey, that's not how I see you. Don't you want to move our relationship to the next level? Of course I do, but it's complicated. Because of the children. Yes. I have to tread carefully. I'm just asking for a bit of patience. I'll go I'll swab first, right? Good. Stop. What? Gloves, Araha. I was just about to put them on. You put the gloves on first. It's no biggie. It's not like I have Ebola. Protocols are there for your protection as well as the patients. We don't just follow them for fun, so glove up and start again. Man. Is this guilt talking or what? Guilt? About me losing my flair. What? So you're living in my house and you're eating my food, you're making us all late and I should feel guilty? I was kidding. You were? <laughs> totally. You shouldn't feel bad at all. You've been amazing to me. Mm. Well, what was all the... I was just trying to move you away from the gloves. Oh. But you see my point, right? Yeah. From now on, I'll be in love with the latex. Great. Although, if you're this sensitive after a hot, steamy night in the boudoir, Someone needs to tell Scotty he's doing it wrong. Did you guys catch Brooks Tenty? Oh, I wish. She must be hating that judge right now. Why? He made a decision based on the facts presented. No witnesses, no evidence, an unallowable confession. So, logic and therefore, justice has prevailed. Does anybody think that Maya did it? I don't know, do you? Honestly, I... I can't help wondering why her bosom buddy left town so quickly. All right, so you think Alice did it? Well, put it this way. If Ethan had done to me what he did to Alice, I might have killed him myself. Oh, hello, Avon. Uh, how long were you standing there? Long enough. And? Was it Alice? Anyone for tea? I have had it with Anaha. What now? Okay. I'll give her this. Her technical skills are good, although I did catch her trying to start an IV without gloves, but... Well, you've got to allow the newbies the odd slip up. Sure, that's not the problem. It's her attitude. Really? She was kind of growing on me. The girl has no humility, and her mind is anywhere but on her job. And then today, she took disrespectful to a whole new level. Today? So this has been going on for a while? Yeah, since she walked in the door. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted to handle it. Then handle it. Well, I've tried, honestly, but you solve one problem and another one sprouts up somewhere else. It's like trying to kill fungus. Prevention is better than a cure. That's not helping. You should have jumped on her behaviour from the start. It's like this morning. What about it? Could have been avoided. You just had to <laughs> confirm with her last night what time we were leaving and did she need a wake-up call. When you're training someone, you have to think ahead. You have to preempt. So her attitude and behaviour, it's all my fault, is it? 
You know what? Don't even answer that. This camel's back is officially broken. If you think it's so easy, then you talk to her. Fine. Hey, how's the study going? Good. Well, hard, but I'm getting there. Good, that's good. Are you going to sit down? Yeah, sure. What's with the Alzheimer's? I've just got a lot on my mind. Like? Work, contracts, wayward staff. Mm, usual stuff. Yeah. Hey, have you seen Brooke this morning? Actually, I have, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Was she okay? She's not too puffy-eyed? Well, she was pretty upset last night. About Maya. She came around to see you, but I talked her down. Right. Well, that was very generous of you. Yeah, I did a pretty good job, too. She didn't want to leave. Yeah. I'd say that was a sign. A uh, sign of what? That she's still into me. I can see that she still needs time to get over Ethan. Yeah, but maybe you shouldn't get too excited about that. Brooke needed a shoulder to cry on, and you just happened to be available. No, it's all adding up. I mean, that's why she's been coming over to our house all the time, visiting you. It's just an excuse. <sighs> Is JJ back here? Yeah, I was so close to keeping him with me. He helps take my mind off... Well, you know. Actually, I've been thinking about that too. Really? There's something I don't understand about your confession. Which part? The timing of it, really. You could have avoided that awful hospital if you'd come clean earlier. Why didn't you? Clearly you have a theory. I don't think it was guilt that led to your breakdown. At least not for something that you'd actually done. Mum. I think the pressure and all that fear led you to create a false memory. It's ridiculous. Well, the mind is a mysterious thing. Yes, it is. But Ethan was actually killed and I was actually there. So was Alice. Yes, and? You've been covering for her. All along, haven't you? Mum, we have been all of I this. know how much you care about her. I saw that yesterday. You loved her. Alice was covering for me. Maybe that's part of this false memory too. I really feel that the truth is still locked up inside you. Once it's out, you really will be free. You're only making up all this false memory stuff because you can't stand the thought of your daughter being... No, don't say it. You've done such a good job of convincing yourself. It really will take a little while before you realise it wasn't you who shot that wretched man. So yourself. Mind if I join you? You mean the Ice Queen would stoop so low? I'm really sorry about this morning. I'm not the happiest camper right now. Yes, that's witnessed by all. Your full show at the pub last night. Oh, of course. I almost felt sorry for you. All alone in the middle of the room. Thanks. So, this Ethan Pierce. He was the love of my life. Really? Which is why I've been held to live with. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't mention it. Truce? Sure. So, uh, this land war over the apartment, it's more than I can handle right now. Of course. Ethan is just the tip of the iceberg. I've recently lost a business, too, not to mention a few friends. Sounds like you need some stability in your life. More than ever. You know, maybe there's something I could do to help. I was hoping you'd say that. I'll call my real estate agent in the morning. Really? Yes. He specialises in finding homes for a tragic women who are screwing the boss. You really are the lowest form of life. You're probably right. But there is no way Cullum's going to fight me on this one. We, we can't, because then it'll look like he was favouring you. And then people might ask questions. I think he tight needs. Watch out. Shanti must hate me. Of course she doesn't. It's always the same when I meet new people. I joke too much, I talk too much. I'm surprised I even have friends. I think you have a great personality. You do? But we all have to learn which aspects of ourselves are work appropriate and which aren't. I need to watch the back door, okay? Definitely. Yeah. Shanti deserves your respect and I expect you to follow her instructions without argument. Fair enough. And I won't tolerate any nurse who neglects their duties. Apparently you've been slow to complete tasks. I know what you're talking about. It may have looked like I was slacking off, but really I was waiting for help. I wasn't familiar with the procedure. Right, I wasn't actually talking about that. I was oh, you mean me being on the phone when I was trying to sort out that flat thing? Well, that's all over now, so I'm back on it 100%, I promise. Good to hear. Off you go. <laughs> hey, P. 
No, I've been slamming it on the streets. Just joking. <laughs> I'm totally hooked up. Yeah, bring Digger and MC and we'll make a night of it. It's 230 Lundy F. No, Lundy is an undie. Did I just hear you right? Sorry, oh, wait a second. Sorry, what's the problem? Did you just give my address to total strangers? Not strangers, Penny. And the rest? I don't give it to them, but Penny might have to. I'd rather you didn't invite your friends to my house. Why not? Because it's my house. But they're really cool people. I'm sure they are. That's not the point. Are you a stranger phobe or something? My house, my call. But I'm living there too. Not anymore, you're not. What? I want you gone by tomorrow. So you better break the news to P, Digger and whoever else. That's one way of handling it. It's the only way. Hey, Brooke. How are you today? You okay? Uh, embarrassed, actually. Well, you shouldn't be. Actually, I was wondering if you wanted to do it again sometime. Not crying necessarily, but if you wanted to... Are you asking me out on a date? Tonight, if possible. I can't. Next week? I'll have to see. Great. I'll call you later and firm up the details. Mm. Hi, Billy. How's my boy? Did he have a good day? Yes, lots of artwork, lots of mess. That's what he likes. <laughs> I'll go get JJ. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll come in and see what he's painted. Um, Maya, just wait here, please. Why? Uh, hi, how are you? Mm. Okay, there's chaos in there, is it? Do you know if Callum's in? Uh, I think so. Good. Tell him I'm on my way. Oh, wait a sec. I need your new address for mail redirection. I've moved into Kip's old apartment. You know that. Yeah, but that's the address that Dr. Avia just gave us. Yes. The one in my contract. One that Colin signed. The one in my contract, too. Uh, don't bother about the redirection, Gerald. She'll be out of there soon enough. Oh, here's Callum. I'm sure he'll be able to sort this all out. Look, the only way you'll be clearing this up is by finding your terms of accommodation. Finally, we agree on something. Gerald, you can redirect my mail to my new partner's house. I'm sure you have the CEO's address on file. What do you mean, your new partner's house? Dad? Female interest gathers tonight when a young male Californian sea lion is introduced to his new Dublin habitat. But will it be a warm reception or a cold front put forward by the ladies? Find out in the zoo tonight at 7 here on 1.